Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to spend a quick couple minutes to get our slow tower up and running. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So the slow tower is actually fairly easy to do. We're basically going to be using the machine gun. So let's go ahead and right click on the step event. We're going to copy it and paste it into our slow tower. Now with the slow tower right here, let's actually maximize the step event because there's a few things that we need to change. We're going to make sure that I remove the bullet damage because we're not going to be using it. And instead of shooting a object bullet player, let's shoot a object bullet slow. Now we will leave everything else the same and we will come back to this later, but let's duplicate the player bullet and rename it to the new bullet slow. Now let's change the sprite to the actual sprite that we're going to be using and in the object enemy collision event, instead of saying other.hurt, let's use other.slow. And this is going to be a function that we're going to have to create within the object enemy. So if we go over to the object enemy and the create event, if we go all the way down, you can see that we just have a hurt event here. And what we want to do is add a slow function and we're not going to pass in any parameters. But all we're going to do is we, go, we are going to take the speed and we are going to divide it by half. So basically what we want to do is current speed divide equal two, and this will automatically continue to slow down our enemy me until they are out of range. Now doing it this way, I need a new variable to keep track of when our speed is going to be placed back to the original. So I will use a speed original equals whatever our current speed is in the create event. And then I am also going to need a timer to say after one second, reset the speed. So I will use a speed timer, which equals one times room speed. And that will give us one second. Now the way that this is going to work is once again, the speed is always going to be divided in half. So yes, our enemy will stop eventually, but we can do something else later on. But what I want to do is I want to set the alarm zero to be whatever that speed timer was. So the alarm zero is going to fire in one second. So that means that I have to go to my workspace within the object enemy, add a new alarm zero event. And in here, all I want to do is set the speed current to be whatever the speed originally was. And then we have to update the path speed, which is a built-in variable, and we will set it to speed underscore current. And we're gonna do the same thing in the slow event. So let's go down here and just set that to the current speed. Now, before I run my game, let's go to the object in it and let's give ourselves $200. And then let's run the game and see if we have any issues. We're gonna build a single tower here. We'll build the slow tower. You can see that our radius is pretty small and we will slow down the enemy completely. If you don't want this to be slowed down completely, you can come in here and go to the object enemy. And then inside the create event, when we're slowing everything down, instead of saying current speed equals current speed divided by two, we'll just say current, the past speed is our current speed divided by two. Now, if we run our game, our current speed isn't going to be always going down, but it will get to a certain spot and then it will let our objects pass. So you can see that this guy continues on the same and we should see a bug here and we'll fix this in one second. But the bug is basically, even though our targets are outside the range, we're still actually shooting at those targets. So to fix this bug, let's go to the slow tower and within the step event here, this is the bug right here where we already have a target and we're continuing to shoot it until it doesn't exist anymore. So to clean this up, we'll remove the collision check to outside and then we will say as long as we have a target, so target does not equal no one, then we are going to do all of this code that we find in here and that will shorten everything up and look like this. So we're going to point in the correct direction as long as we can shoot we will create a bullet slow. So if I hit F5 again, that will get rid of the bug that we just had. And I can build a tower here. I'll build it right here at the start. So we currently have a wave. That guy gets slowed down. Actually, let's build one more guy here. And you can see that he is switching automatically as soon as something leaves the collision check and he will stop shooting. So that's the bug fix and the slow tower working. So hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching the video. Please leave a like or a comment below and get that YouTube algorithm up. A special thank you to the following Patreon supporters in no particular order. Edward, Annie, Timothy, Robert, Yato, Ian, Paul, Alex, Victor, and Ashby. Once again, thank you everyone so much for watching this video, and I hope you'll join me in the next video.